treating the diabetic patient it's a, it's one of the most challenging uh, issue in, in medical field because the diabetic patient has a lot of problem he has all ophthalmological problem also but he have neurological problem it's an intermedicine problems also and from the point of view of the of the eye doctor we have to check these patients re regularly uh, until they until the point they, they start to have retinopathy if they have retinopathy retinopathy means they have retinal changes due to to blood to to diabetic disease then we can we have to change uh, to check them more often as soon as new vessels are, are starting to grow inside of the eye it's it's, it's better to start the laser but uh, this is always the, the 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 responsibility of the of the of his eye doctor so the patient cannot cannot decide if it's sick or not or if he needs laser or not so he have to go to checkups quite regularly especially if the, the blood sugar levels are not okay from point of view of the patient he can do the most for himself if he's taking care of his blood sugar he's taking care of his blood pressure he has a, a controlled diet all the time, so this is, these are very important things. Performing surgery for, for diabetic, eye surgery for diabetic patients it, it's also a challenging case. Uh, in the last years, so what we prefer to do is to do an injection of intra, intraocular uh, anti-VEGF, uh, leave the patient for 72 hours and then do the surgery after 72 hours later. This uh, makes the surgery much safer. Uh, less bleeding during the surgery, so it's, it's good basically for everybody, but mainly for the patient.